Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Madeline. I'm the owner of Basswood Beauty, a small skincare, lip care, nail care, care company. Um, and yeah, I just, I love beauty and I just want to bring some small business content and beauty content to this channel because I love it and it brings me joy. So um, today I'm going to go over my project pan items and just where I'm at with them. And then, um, yeah, we're going to do a few like roll-ins and changes, swap outs here. Um, I, I tried doing eight items last year. It was like a little too much for me. Um, so I went down to five items and it's been a lot better. Oh, actually six. I'm missing one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And that one I made a lot of progress on. So I'm going to go grab that and I'll be right back. All right. Here's the sixth item. Um, I am a little late in doing this update um, because in the meantime, I had my baby last week and um, that was the week I, sh I should have filmed this before, <laughs> but yeah, she was two weeks early. So um so yeah, I was a little, a little thrown off and not prepared to get this video up. So I'm getting it up today and um, I hope you enjoy. I hope it inspires you to use what you have and um, it, it doing the project pan has also helped me figure out what I like and what I dislike and what I would repurchase and what I wouldn't repurchase instead of just making like frivolous makeup and beauty purchases and wasting money basically so um let's see i made a lot of progress and like i said that this is a little overdue so yeah i i feel like i made great progress in some things and then other things that i didn't make such great progress on but um to start with i did finally finish this um like blush that i had made um it was like a mixture and I'm super glad to have this out and wash this and just set this bulky little container aside. But what this did do is re-inspire me to try making blushes. I just really want to make pressed blushes versus loose, which in the, like, I don't know, I, I hate to say DIY, but um, just the community of I guess if you go on Etsy or whatever, where I sell most of my products, you find a lot of loose blushes because they, they are easier to make and formulate, but there, there's a lot more that goes into pressed um, eyeshadows, pressed blushes, but I do have everything to make them and I just, I just need to practice and give it time. And so this really did inspire me to try to do that again because I just enjoyed this formula and this color so much. And it's really fun to make your own colors and make the colors that you want. So um, yeah, that's something I want to work on this year. And I'm glad I used this because it, it re-inspired me to take that on. Um, and then, very excitingly, I finally panned this Flower Beauty blush. I was just like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I, I went in there with like a finer brush um, or smaller brush and used it as eyeshadow. And that's when I hit the pan and I was just like, oh my gosh, finally. It's been like over a year of trying to pan this blush and it's just so like solidly packed in here. Um that it just took so long. So I still love this blush. I want to keep using it, but I am going to swap it out as far as for the project pan. And then um, the other item that I made good progress on is this Sarah Loves Makeup lipstick. Um, she's always coming out with in new colors and new like collections. So I don't think that this particular one's available anymore, but yeah, we started off way down here. I don't know if I can get it to focus. And then I'm like way up here. So I'm almost done with this. I love using this on my lips and my cheeks at the same time. 
and it's a beautiful um, smooth formula that feels really good on the lips and yeah I would love to purchase more from her um, her items are just beautiful but I know that this one's old and I have another one that I need to use up as well um, because it does just smell slightly off because it is it is very old <laughs> so um, so yeah I want to finish getting that used up um, so that is gonna stay and then um, since since I I had my baby and uh, just like leading up to that too I wasn't wearing a whole lot of makeup so I didn't reach for this as much as I wanted to and I'm just trying to remember to reach for it like I'm just struggling like kind of remembering and getting it into my routine but it does make a great eyeshadow um, base to prevent your eyeshadows from creasing if you have oily eyelids like myself but but yeah there's no pan in this so I do want to keep using this because um, it's like there's not a ton of product in there but it's enough <laughs> So that's going to stay. And then this is another item I didn't reach for a whole lot. I think I did in the beginning. I think we will see some progress when I, I show the other the picture but from last month. But um, yeah, lately I just haven't reached for it. I've just been trying to do like really easy, simple makeup that's super quick or no makeup at all. So um, yeah, so I just haven't reached for that as much. And then this... I have a progress picture in like just a little bit below that line there where I started so I haven't reached for this as often I do have my numbers and I can put them up on the screen of how much I use ooh, each item but I know that the numbers aren't completely accurate because I have used or reached for these more than I think I have because I just having the baby and everything I just it threw me off for like a whole week so um, I know I reached for some of these and didn't record it so I don't know exactly I don't think I reached my goal was like 20 uses if I wanted to roll an item out I had to use it for 20 uses and then I could like exchange it for something else if I didn't pan it and I didn't get close to 20 uses with any of them. I feel, feel like I used them all a whole lot, but the most I'm showing is like 10. And like I said, I know I missed a few, so I probably went over that with some of them, but yeah, I'm not sure. So I am going to keep this one in. I feel like with spring coming and summer coming that this is more of a fall color, but I think I'll keep it in one more month because right now it's just very rainy and um kind of dark and uh yeah so i have been reaching for this a little bit more and then the items i want to roll in i have this blush from jane iredell and it's just kind of like a little sample blush and i feel like it'd be easy to use up and it's kind of like a in between like a bronzy blush color like it could be a bronzer and a blush and I feel like these go nicely together so um, so yeah I'm gonna roll this one in I feel like it'd be easy to use up it's not as compacted in there like it's a little bit more um, dusty um, when you use it so I feel like I go through it pretty quickly and I'm gonna roll that one in since I'm taking this one out and then I wanted to also roll in this Kosas concealer because this is a like a mini size and I even took the stopper out already I'm like almost completely done with it um, so that should be done next month as well and it's just what I've been reaching for and I don't really love it like everyone says oh it's so creamy it blends so nicely I'm not finding that I have to use a really thick um, moisturizer underneath it for it to blend nicely if I don't it like dries on my skin and I cannot get it to blend out nicely so yeah I, I this will not be a repurchase for me um, 
I'm glad that I only got the mini size. I, I love that they come out with these. I just think it, that's a great way to try. Maybe you're, you are getting a smaller amount for your money. Like it might not be as worth it, but, um, it is worth it to me to like get through a product that I don't love or, you know, to find out if I love it or not. Um, and then I want to roll in this as well. So this is an extra item. I don't know if this is smart or not because now I'm getting to seven products, but, um, I, I know that just with summer and stuff that I'm going to be reaching for this highlighter anyways. And I'm like so close to being done with it. At least that's how it feels. Yeah, that's, that's it. So I don't know how much it goes into the container, but, um, a little hair on it. Um, I just love mixing this with like my blushes and stuff. So I, I want to use that up and then I thought, you know what, if I'm reaching for that, maybe I'll reach for the contour too as well, which I just, I don't. This one has a lot more to it. Not quite so much, but I don't, I don't think I'll get through that. Um, but maybe it'll help me reach for this one a little bit more. And then I'm really thinking... Once I'm done with this highlight, I would just get rid of the whole thing because I just don't reach for that as much, but we'll see. And, and creams, I know that this is old as well, um, to start to go bad faster. So I wanted to roll this in. So that is it. That's my update. I am very happy with where it's at. Um, yeah. And I know that I should have a lot more progress done on these, especially like this should be out, this should be out. So I'm going to have to start looking at what else I want to try to roll in. Um, but yeah, it's just exciting to use things and get things moving through um, my collection and seeing some progress made. And yeah, I, I've really been enjoying this project pan this year. Um, I think because I just was able to curate it a little bit more to my needs. I don't think that we need to follow everybody else's like project pan rules. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.